Hello there, this is a new Zella tutorial with TMS Gen. This first step is assigning an article to your students. So let's go over to newzella.com, a great resource for current events articles. These articles are organized by subject area, as you can see. I can make a text set if I find lots of articles that are aligned with each other. And in my binder, I can assign this to my students. I can create classes, I can track my students' progress if I have the pro account. So there's a free account. But right now I'm trying out that pro account just to see how I like it. First let's go back to these articles here and I can see these articles are organized by color as well as by topic or subject area. When I go down here this is a place for me to store the articles that I love the most so I can easily get back to them. Here are some articles that I have assigned to my students. We've been studying um, garment factories some articles in Spanish, which is very helpful in our school. We have a number of Spanish-speaking students. Editor's picks and articles most loved this month by number of hearts received. So let me go to science for fun. And as I get to that category, I can see that there are also some tools over here for me to narrow my choices. So I'm going to open those up and see what I can do here. First, I'd like to select grade level 6. It's a level that I work with frequently. And often the teachers ask me to work with students on the main idea, so I'll select that as well. And maybe I'll go over here and just verify. For this assignment, we'll have our articles in English. So let me just go down here and see what our students might be interested in reading. I find a lot of students reading books about space in the library lately, so let's go to this one here. And as I start to look through this, I can see that the article has the heading and some photographs or a photograph. You can see that I've already started to sort of peek through this text to preview it and I've started to annotate it. I'll show you that a little later. But let me go over here to this beautiful tool. This is a Lexile leveling tool. And I can see that I've got the same text at several different Lexile levels immediately accessible with a click of a button on that toolbar. This is incredibly helpful for our students who are all at different levels and in the same room at the same time. That instant differentiation but common knowledge about a topic that's right here accessible on the screen. So that's my favorite feature. Once our students select a Lexile level that's best for them, then they can start to read the article. But first, let me assign it to a specific class so that when they log in the next time, they'll have it. So I'll select a class, and I'll use my Newzella practice class here. And I can give them instructions if I wish to be specific about how they code the text. So I might say, highlight, interesting, information in green, highlight questions you have in blue, and then I can assign that. Now when the students log in, they'll see that information at the top and it will tell them how they can code the text. Now I can also customize the writing prompt if I choose. Right now that default just says write a short paragraph that explains the central idea of the article. If I wish to be more specific about that, I can edit that, retype it, and say save. But I like that prompt because it ties into what the teachers have been asking me to work with the students on. So I'll leave that there and I'll collapse that writing tool. So it's a very quick tutorial on how to customize the directions or the instructions for the article as well as the writing prompt. 